Well, that very close family friend tells me Michelle Martins struggled as a single parent and would often scream and yell at her two children. She tells me that didn't seem to phase Victoria, though, who she says was always laughing and smiling. She was always laughing and smiling. Everybody loved her. If there's one thing people will remember about 10 year old Victoria Martins, it was her smile. Oh, she loved everything. When we took him to Hamas, oh my God, we played in the creek and she walked across the log. She loved to picnic. Nina Willenberg says the little girl was full of life and happiness. She says she couldn't say the same though for Victoria's mother, Michelle Martins. She would yell at him a lot, you know, scream at him. I'd say, Michelle, they're just kids, let them play. You know, you don't have to yell and scream at him all the time. Willenberg met Michelle Martins when they worked together years ago. She says she quickly became attached to the kids, who she says spent most of their time with their grandparents. Victoria was. I mean, she was a grandpa's girl. She was his life and the grandma the same way. Willenberg tells us normally Victoria would not have been with her mother. Because normally the grandmother would have had her. But Michelle had a day off work. As Willenberg remembers all of the fun times she shared with Victoria, she can't help but think of all the things she never got a chance to do with her, like take Victoria horseback riding because she says she loved horses. She had a really special pair of cowboy boots she used to wear all the time with her pajamas on. And she tells me she'll treasure memories like that forever. Now, Willenberg also tells me she's really worried about Victoria's little brother who wasn't home at the time when this happened. Now, a lot of you on our social media pages are also concerned about the little boy. Willenberg tells me right now he's staying with an aunt. Reporting live in Northwest Albuquerque, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.